With one quick decision, Oculus has made wireless PC VR streaming to the Quest and the Quest 2 insanely easy. Yesterday, it was announced that Virtual Desktop would now be supporting wireless PC VR streaming on the official Quest Store. Right after the original Oculus Quest launched, Virtual Desktop released a feature surprisingly allowing us to stream PC VR games wirelessly to our quests. Oculus very quickly said no, not on the official store and told them to remove the feature, which then drove them to SideQuest and putting a patch on there so we could actually use that feature. So ever since then, it's been a requirement to buy and install virtual desktop on the Quest Store, then get sideloading going by creating a developer account, going through a whole bunch of steps, jumping through hoops, and connecting it to a PC so you can sideload that patched APK and turn on that feature. Yesterday, that all changed when Oculus reversed their decision and allowed Virtual Desktop back on the Quest Store with that feature. Now, all you have to do is install Virtual Desktop from the Quest Store and you immediately have access to wireless PC VR streaming. I know several people that wanted to give that a try and see if their PC worked, if it was up to snuff, but they didn't want to spend the money on the application and go through the process of creating a developer account just to have it not work. Well, now you can grab the software on the Quest Store, install it on your Quest, and you are ready to go. There's really just three quick steps now to get this running. The first, obviously, is to buy and download Virtual Desktop from the official Quest Store. Second, you have to go to vrdesktop.net and download the desktop streaming application for your PC, and that is a free download. Finally, you need to install some PC VR software, whether it's Steam or Oculus or both. I recommend getting both because there's different games on both of them. And a lot of your Quest games are probably going to be cross-buy, which means you don't even have to purchase Rift games. You can just download the game you already own. This is actually pretty revolutionary because it essentially makes the Quest and the Quest 2 official wireless streaming headsets without having to jump through a whole bunch of hoops. It means that someone can grab this specifically as a PC VR headset and in minutes of setting it up, be playing wireless PC VR games without having to set up the developer account, without having to download the ADB drivers, without having to set up the software, without having to jump through all the hoops. There was several steps you had to go through really to get to it. Super simple and super easy, which I think is going to be huge for the Quest platform because it's going to draw even more people in. The revolutionary part about the Quest is its wireless nature, and being able to play wireless PC VR is even more revolutionary. There are a couple of caveats, so you really need a 5 gigahertz router to get this working the best. I have a Wi-Fi 6 router, and it works even better, but 5 gigahertz will definitely work as well, and you need to be as close to the router as you can be. I'm in my basement. My router is probably 15 to 20 feet over there, and I can play it perfectly here, although I can go upstairs in my living living room and play it through the floor and it still works just fine as well and the PC that is streaming those games really should be connected to the router directly with an ethernet cable because that allows direct communication you don't need internet so you don't need a super fast internet connection to do this this doesn't use your internet this just uses your local network so as long as you have a fast connection to your PC and your router using a local network then you'll be totally fine in fact I know some people that actually have routers that aren't even connected to the internet just allowing them to set up a local network using their PC and then use that to play PC VR as it becomes the only connection. Once you start connecting other devices to that router, people start using it to stream at the same time. Other people might be playing Fortnite or other games at the same time. It reduces the amount of bandwidth that you have and that can cause some stuttering or it can cause some issues with playing PC VR. It depends on your router, obviously. So I know a lot of people that set up a dedicated connection for their PC to play streaming games on the Quest 2. Overall, this negates all of the videos I've done on how to stream PC VR games to the Quest, and I could not be happier that that's the case. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. I'm happy to answer anything, but it's pretty straightforward. It's a really simple process now, and I'm excited now to see even more people enjoy wireless PC VR streaming due to the fact that it's so easy. If you want to get the most out of your Quest and your Quest 2, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications. Plus, you can check out even more of my videos right there. Thank you so much for watching and happy questing.